Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I've always told how to voice radio, and today I am delighted because we get to talk about Zerka Tree GX. Now, I am currently huddled in a hotel room in Bilbao in Spain, getting ready to commentate the special event tomorrow, which you should all watch at Pokemon.com slash live. And it is my birthday, and I should be chilling, but no, ladies and gentlemen, because Zerka Tree has been revealed, the lovely Rappelman TCG, David Hockman himself, has shown us Zerka Tree GX, he is my favourite of the Ultra Beasts, and we need to have a chat about it, and I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to tell you on the off, th this is a really, really good card, yeah, Let let's be perfectly upfront about that. It is a very nice card. Now, being a lightning type means you're not really hitting anything for weakness. There's nothing really relevant at the moment that is weak to lightning. And your weakness to fighting is going to be a little bit of a pain because Gardevoir decks are playing Marshadow. But also anybody, and I say this every time we have a fighting weak GX, and I'm afraid it's something we need to bear in mind, they can always just play Marshadow GX. Which means that they can have an easy counter to you because Marshadow's got an ability allowing it to copy the attacks of any basics in the discard pile. Hey ho, these things happen. What is really good, however, is that you have a resistance to metal with Zerkatry, which is phenomenal because generally Metagross with a choice band would be doing 180 and getting a one hit KO, but now they won't be because of your resistance, they'll only be doing 160. And yeah, they can use a Professor Kukui, but they won't always be able to. Two retreat cost is fine, 180 HP is fairly standard. But ladies and gentlemen, there's lots of exciting stuff to talk about, so that's what we're going to do. The ability here might sound a little bit familiar. This Pokemon does not get damage from opponent's energy's attacks, which have a special energy attached, i.e. it's Slash. It's just that ability, come back round again. Your opponent, if they put any special energy on their Pokemon, they then cannot hurt Zergatry. And this could be a little bit relevant, but you've got to temper your enthusiasm a teensy bit. <laughs> so let's take something like, for instance, Gardevoir. Now, on the one hand, you're taking away Gardevoir's double colorless energy. On the other hand, the only non-GX attack we've got here is for free energy. So Gardevoir will still be doing all right against you. You're already going to be having free energy on before you even start. It's really good against something like Golisopod Garboda that really relies on rainbow energy and double colourless energy. But having said that, they can just, you know, use Garboda. And when Garboda comes out, you lose your ability and they can hurt you. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Even if it's not the best thing in the world right at this moment, it's here for the future. It's, it's always going to be relevant. It's always going to be good against some decks. And this is a card for the ability, at least, that you need to keep in mind. Because it may well be that in six months, a year's time, we end up in a format where decks that rely on special energy are absolutely everywhere. And if we end up in that format, this is going to be absolutely brilliant. Some decks it will wall entirely. Think something like Persimian. Now, I know that doesn't see much play at all at the moment, but still. Even something like an Alolan Ninetales, for instance. They tend to play your Aqua Patch and your Water Energy, but in the early game, they've got to get a whole bunch of energy on. They really like using double colourless energy in the early game for their little attacks, and they can't do that, ladies and gentlemen. At least, not against circuitry. Although, do remember that if they're just hitting someone on the bench, they can use double colourless energy and hit for 50 on the bench instead. The thing that really helps Zerkatry here is Hex Maniac being rotated as well as Silent Lab, meaning it's only Alolan, Muck, or Garboda that will actually get rid of this ability here, and there aren't that many decks playing them outside of the obvious Garboda decks. Now, the regular attack here is fine. Free Lightning Energy, 100 damage, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. 
It's fine, but it's not particularly great. You can use Electrode here to get this going really nice and early, but as we'll see from the GX attack in a minute, you really don't want to be using Electrode with Zerkatry. That would be just a little bit silly. You can, of course, as we're here, also use Raikou from Shining Legends to get the energy on there attached to it while it's on the bench when you use Raikou as your starter Pokemon. And similarly here, you could use Max Elixir, given that Zerkatry is a base basic Pokemon, and that would very much be my preferred way of doing things here, as we're going to see when we look at the GX attack. 100 damage is quite low, but with a choice band, you're hitting 130, you're basically two-hit KOing anything. Non-GX is even as far up as something like a Greninja, you'll be two-hit KOing, and GX is even as big and as powerful as something like Metagross with 250 HP. You had a choice band, you'll be two-hit KOing. And you're only discarding one card. It's not amazing, but you might hit the right card here. You might hit a really important evolution, special energy, etc. They might have nothing in their hand, and then you can discard the Sycamore. They were about to top deck. It's not great, and I don't think it's good enough to actually build a mill deck around. I don't think you're milling enough cards to make it work worthwhile as a mill deck but what i will say is it's still nice it's a bit overpriced it's not the best attack ever but discarding a card is a nice handy bonus now we also have here a gx attack which is quite simply stunning look at your opponent's hand choose a card you find there and put it face down as one of their prize cards now not only do you get to give them an extra prize but you get to choose something from their hand, and this is awesome. They've only got one supporter in their hand, and this is an early game. You want to go, if you go second, you want to use this straight away. Now, your opponent will have had a turn to set up, but they've got a candy guard of wire in hand. Put the candy down in their prizes. They've got a hand with not very much but a sycamore. Put the sycamore down in their prizes. Make sure that they can't do this next turn. You essentially give them an extra prize while screwing up their turn. Now, we saw a very similar thing here with Nihiligo recently. Nihiligo lets you put two cards from the top of your opponent's deck as two extra prizes as a free Psychic Energy GX attack. I like this so, so much more than Nihiligo. Because it's only a single energy, and because you get to screw your opponent over by taking a useful card out of their hand as you give them an extra prize. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why I like this so gosh darned much. It really is a huge advantage. And this is an early game GX attack. You really want to be doing this as early as you can. Now, of course, it could be a late game attack. Think your opponent, you know they're playing free Guzma. They have only used two Guzma. You know they've got one left. If they need to play a Guzma to win the game, and then you can put the Guzma from their hand into their prizes, you can stop them winning the game, and you can absolutely win there and then. I mean, against something like a Garboda, you could even take the Garboda and put it in the prizes so that they can't turn off your ability and then hurt you with a Pokemon with rainbow energy attached. The other advantage I should mention here is that if you're using an early game GX attack, then you can use Hala. I mean, take something like Vikavolt Tapu Bulu. This really does have a lot of synergy with Vika Vault decks. Turn one, you slow them down by taking a good card and putting it in their prizes. And of course, Vika Vault Bulu is a deck where you really need to have a turn or two to set up. You can then use Vika Vault to get the extra energy on you or just start attacking with Tapu Bulu. Then you've got the ability so special energy heavy decks are slow against you and they're hard to get round you. And you've just given them an extra prize in the early game, bought yourself some time to set up. This is a great tech in any deck that's playing lightning or rainbow energy. But it's also a pretty good Pokemon in its own right. And when you look at cards like Raichu GX and Raikou from Shining Legends, along with this, we're starting to see some really good Lightning-type Pokemon being released in the Pokemon trading card game. I am a big fan of Zerkatry. It's my favorite Ultra Beast. The second attack, the main attack here is very, meh. It's not particularly great. But the ability is really useful. The GX attack is amazing. And with resistance, you'll survive a hit from Metagross. I am going to give it between four and five Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. I want to give it five Wossies. My heart says five Wossies. 
But in a lot of games, it's just going to be a really good early GX attack and a tech against special energy heavy decks. I don't think it quite crosses the threshold of a 5 Wossy card, but ladies and gentlemen, there was some heated debate on the streets of Bilbao with my good friends Joe and Nick earlier today. But I want to know what you think about Zerkatry. Let me know in the comments. Go nuts! Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus pods, etc., you can do so at patreon.com slash ptcg radio and remember ladies and gentlemen there is a live stream going on tomorrow from bilbao pokemon.com slash live check it out it's going to be fun but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio